Hi there, how are you? I'm pretty sure you are doing well. I hope you're doing well. Tita Tim, I'm doing pretty good, thank you. So, if you look behind me, we are, obviously we are going to continue with subtraction. And you should remember by now that subtraction is what is left after taking something away. Okay? And today's video clip we're going to focus on finding the unknown in number sentences. Okay? And on my right here I have prepared an example on the board. Okay, there we go. Alright, so the number sentence 5 minus x equals 3. And x, what does that mean? That just means that it's an unknown. You don't know what number this is supposed to be. Uh, in the book, page 95, you find finding the unknown in number sentences. In the book, they use squares. This is an unknown. So you have space to write a number here. Sorry. Okay. Or they use stars. So in the book, on page 95, they are using boxes or stars as unknowns. But teacher team, I'm using X. You can use any letter A, B, C, D, E, F, but I like to use X as unknown. Okay? So if you look at the picture, I know I am now letting you visualizing it, so it's easy. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. You have five chocolate bars. These are all chocolate bars, but different kinds of chocolate. Okay, so you have a total of five, total of five, and then you deduct, take away X number of chocolate bars, and then you have three left. Okay, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. The total is five, and then equals three. So five minus X equals three. Three, one, two, three. Three sneakers bars and mm -hmm, Mars bars. Okay? So here, X is the number of Mars bars. Mars bars. I know now it's very easy to count what X is. It's very easy because you can just count. Because now you are visualizing it. I'm letting you visualizing it by using flashcards. If I did not have any flashcards, it would be a little bit more difficult. Not difficult, but a little bit more difficult. Okay? So, if you look further down, here. So, to do this in a number bonds, so we have the whole, the five, five is the whole, the total, then part one is three, because three here, three sneakers, and part two is X, unknown, you don't know. Okay, so number bonds in a different way is like this. The whole, the whole, then we have part one, part one, three, part two, X, because you don't know what number X is supposed to represent. Okay, so let's go to the left. Okay, there you can see. All right, so addition and subtraction relationship. So what is the addition and, and subtraction relationship? So let's solve it. 5 minus 3. So you Turn them around, you switch places. From the start you had 5 minus x equals 3. So then you switch places with the x and the 3. So you take 
5 minus 3 equals x. So 5 minus 3 equals x. Okay, so what is 5 minus 3? Let's count. You have 5 and then take away 3. 1, 2, 3. What is left? 1, 2. You have 2 left. So x equals 2. 2. Okay. So x is 2. And you can double check this. Double check it. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Yes. So it is correct. So the answer, there are two Mars bars. There are two Mars bars. Okay? Good. Are you following? So far you understand? Okay, good. Because we're going to do one more example. Let's move the camera over here. Here we're going to do one more example. All right. So we have a number sentence. X plus three equals seven. Find the value of X. What is X? Addition and subtraction relationship. So we solve it. Seven minus three equals x. So you have two numbers but you need to find out the third number. Okay? So that is a relationship. So here we solve it in a little bit different way. We use a number line. A number line. Can you see a number line? I know it's this, the light from outside the window is so I can cover up the light? No, I can't. Anyway, so 7 minus 3 equals x. So we have 7 here on the number line. Then we jump 3 steps, minus 3. That's why I have crossed, uh, underlined it, 3. So 1 step, 2 steps, 3 steps. Because 1, 2, 3, minus 3. And then we land on number 4. So x is 4. x is 4. Okay, and then we double check. 4 plus 3 equals 7. So yes, this is correct. 4 is correct. Okay? Do you understand? Questions? No? Good. Then let's go back to the book now. Page 95 is what I have just explained to you here, these examples, but with different pictures. In the book they use apples. I, you know, I like chocolate, so I'm using chocolate bars. Okay, but I'm using the same numbers for these two examples as the book. So let's skip that. You can look yourself on page 95. But let's jump to 96. Start on page 96. Okay? All right, good. So I will see you in a second. Page 96, please. All right? Okay, boys and girls, page 96, please. So now we have gotten to the part where you will have to do some exercises. Okay? So. Use the cubes to help you find the unknown numbers. Okay, so this is an, an example. Actually, let's take, let's show you the example on the board. Because I made that same example on the board. Can you see it? Uh, there we go. Okay. So, 5 minus x equals 1. So then what is x? I'm sure you already know what x is, but 
let's for argument's sake say it's a difficult number can you see yeah all right good so let's visualizing it okay so let's use these cubes to visualize the numbers so you have one two three four five cubes five minus x equals one so the answer will be one so you know there will be one cube that you don't take away you don't deduct so let's take away every cube except for one so we leave one take away Take away this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, now we have the answer. One, one cube. One left, okay? So, how many did we take away? How many cubes did we deduct? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So, we took away four cubes. We deducted four cubes from five. The starting number is five, and we deducted, took away subtracted four cubes and then we have one cube left and that's what I prepared here the correct answer 5 minus 4 equals 1 and here you can visualizing it 5 minus 4 1 2 3 4 equals 1 one cube re remaining one cube is left okay good so now go back to the book okay all right so I forgot my pen but all right that's okay so here is the correct answer 5 minus 4 equals 1 okay and then a 4 plus x equals 5. So 4 plus x equals 5. So how do you solve that? Hmm? You take the answer 5 minus 4 equals x. So if it's addition, then you need to do subtraction to find the x to find the unknown okay or you can count up counting up is also another one pretend you have a timeline if you have a timeline then let's say you have four five six seven eight nine or whatever so this is the timeline so we have four here plus oh sorry the answer is 5, so then 4, and then 5 is 4, 5. So it's one step, so it's 1. 4 plus 1 equals 5, right? And then B, 6 plus X equals 8. Then here you can either do subtraction to find out the unknown. 8 minus 6 equals 2. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Or you can use a number line and count up. So we have 6 here. Plus 1, 7, plus 2, 8. Oh, 8. Oh, so then the answer is 2. Okay? And then we have subtraction. So <clears throat> here we have the unknown is... What is the unknown? X x minus 4 equals 1 x minus 4 equals 1 so then so then we need to do plus so here we do plus 4 plus 1 equals 5 so 5 is the correct answer 5 okay and then here also deduction so these are the same numbers but with addition and then subtraction. Remember the, the topic today? Finding the unknown in number sentences. Okay. So here we need to find out how much to sub subtract. 
<coughs> so we do 8 minus 2. What is that? 8 minus 2? That's 6. So, you need to put 6 here. Or you can do it the other way around. <coughs> Excuse me. You can do... <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I've lost my voice. <coughs> All right. So, 8 minus 2 equals 6. Because 8 minus 6 equals 2. Or you can do counting up from 2 to 8. So let's pretend here we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Okay? Alright. So please do these exercises on page 96 and on 97. Okay, so fill in the missing numbers. Here we have penguins and ants. Four penguins plus three ants equals how much? And then here we have an unknown minus four equals three. And then we have seven minus another unknown equals four. So if you remember what we were doing yesterday, this is the same thing right subtraction and addition remember num subtraction and addition facts family of four subtraction and addition facts right so that's what we're doing here but with unknown numbers as well okay all right, and then lastly, we have two. Fill in the missing numbers. And here, they don't do the uh, family. They don't do the family of sub subtraction and addition facts. Here, it's just to find, find the missing numbers. Okay. And, yeah, that is all for this clip. All right. All right, good. And I will see you in the next clip. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Hi there, moms and dad. So this is now my uh, pictures of the correct answers I have given. So I have filled in all the unknowns, all the boxes. So please look at it and then check your children's homework to see if they have made many mistakes. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message asking about anything. All right, so these are the answers for the first page, page 96. And then we have page number 97. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. Unknown is 7. And then the, the number centers underneath, 7 minus 4 equals 3. And then 7 minus 3 equals 4. Alright. So these are the answers for page 97. Okay. Take care. I will see you in the next clip. Bye-bye.